Hey you. Yes, I'm talking to you there, watching this video. Do you want to learn how to script in Second Life and have absolutely no idea where to start? Well, in this video I'm going to show you exactly that. So forget all these tutorials, forget scripting 101. We are now doing scripting 0.001. Now, the first thing you want to do in a cell is res a box, put a script in it, and actually check out what a script is, what it does, how it works, etc. And uh, before we can do that, we need a place where we can res something. Now, if you don't know what the word res means, you want to definitely check out some basic SL tutorials, how to build, how to res. But I'm going to assume you know that. So first thing first, you want to search a place where you can res, assuming you don't have your own land. And the easiest way is to search, for example, for a sandbox and just teleport to some random sandbox. Because sandboxes are generally places where you can rest stuff. Or you can go to, for example, Builder's Brewery, which is a great place to get started building. I'm typing that wrong pretty much. Yep. If you can't find it in places, uh, try web search. Uh, there you go. Hey, you click there and you teleport. Now, Builders Brewery also gives scripting classes, and it's also a place where I am giving scripting classes for beginners. But I guess first things first, where to start? Now, right now, I am. Not in the sandbox, because the sandbox is somewhere over there. Oh yes, it's right here. Now I'm in the Builders Brewery sandbox. Now a sandbox means you can just rest stuff. You have to follow some, you know, some standard rules as in to like don't be a pain to other people. But yeah, first thing you want to do is you want to click on the floor, and um, I generally go to create. And then you pick here a box, you click on the floor, and there we have a box. Now, in the build window, you go to the content tab, and you click on new script. This will add a new script here, which is inside of your box. And you can double click on that script to open it. So now we have a script inside of this box. And what this script does, it says touch on a touch start event. So as you can see, when I click the object, you see on the bottom left corner, you see touch, touch, touch. Well, this is the first thing you have to do. Now we have a script right here. You can copy paste actual existing scripts in here. You can change the script. You can edit the script, but that will be scripting 101. And this is scripting 0.0001. So, um, yeah. Now, you can save your script, obviously, and you can pick up your box or take a copy of your box, which is a very cool idea if you're scripting stuff. Uh, one big thing, if you're using Firestorm, um, you might want to go to Preferences, and then you go to... I forgot where it was. I think Firestorm, yes, Firestorm build one. And there you have what's called script editor font. And here you have the option to increase the font size of a script. So now I'll set it to large, open up the script. You see that the text is bigger. Close that, set it to small, open it again. And I see the script is smaller. Uh, so yeah, that is about it for this video. If you're serious in the scripting, I'll post you guys a link in the description of this video about scripting 101. But yeah, this is scripting 00 whatever. And this is like the first thing you want to do because you want to have something involved that you can work with. 